What up YouTube, it's George Coffee Muscle Mania Pro and I'm gonna show you today um, uh, yoga for bodybuilding, bodybuilding and physique athletes. Because I gained weight I'm around now, 99 kilograms, 100 kilograms, I think that's 225 pounds and I have to work on my flexibility. And who I got with me today, I got Angie Fleeser. Her Instagram is here, Angie Fleeser. And she's gonna show us the first basics, three movements for today, which you can do at home um, to improve your flexibility as a bodybuilder or physique athlete. So let's get it going. So, so what is the first movement? So, wait, wait, let me focus. So, perfect. Yes. So, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to learn. You look like 18. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Can we? Yes, Can we focus. focus yes. Uh, look, that is my problem. Hi. So now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, two movements. We are going to learn the downward facing dog. We are going to learn the chaturanga dandasana, which is a push up with the elbows close to our body. And we are going to learn the upward facing dog. And then we learn the more seconds. So, we sit in our heels and we start. So we start here and we are going to test ourselves how our body is. So we start with child pose. And we stretch here, we breathe. Always breathing. And then from here, we go back and we test our shoulders and our chest so we're going to do coffee pot so we are going to extend and try to open the chest to the floor and see how you feel you will feel the stretch here and it's bigger chin on the floor if you one if not it's flat you come back and from here, we are going to prep for the office. So here, we are going to stay on all four. My hair gets in my face. So we stay on all four. And from here, we are going to come up. So we do that five times. When you finish, we are going to I'm going to speed it up, okay? We are going back here and trying to go back to the other facing dog. If you cannot touch the heel, then you stay here a little bit bend and then come back. Five times go back to the chest and seven. One more time. If for some reason your heels are not touching, just stay here. Try to open. Suck the belly in. And that's it. That's the our facing Okay? Okay. So, no, um. Because my hair was like. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> what do I have to flex? Um. Where I have to, um, um, I have to, you say, um, I have to keep my belly tight. Exactly. How, how do I have to focus? What do I have to think? How do I have to um, visualize it or fantasize? Yes. Uh, yes, we were talking about that. Um, the important thing here is always to engage the mulavanda, it's called, which is engage the muscles or your pelvis. So you are going to contract those muscles and keep them in, suck the belly in. And you concentrate on breathing. It's really important to breathe. You breathe with your mouth closed. So that's one thing. And the second is the focus is going to be in the belly when you are in the upper facing yes. and, and that's it. We finish that and then we explain okay. the other. Okay. So. Sorry. Oh, now everything is like no. So, and for you guys, people out there, which is talking about the belly muscles. 
when you flex think about um, having a muscle between your lower abs and your ass there's this muscle try to flex this and you're correct on your own point So, how do you start? So you start... Yes. You start uh, not kneeling on the heels. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> remember? I don't remember. No, no, it's fine. You were oh, there. Okay. That's it. Yes, yes, yes. Sure. Remember that you could sit on your heels, but then you just do the child pose without touching the yes. Okay. That's it. And then you try to come to me and try to stretch your oh. shoulders. Yeah? Good. Nice, nice, nice. And you breathe there. You tuck the belly in as we talk. And breathe. Yes. Breathe more. So we got the first part. Yes. Exactly. What's the second part? The second part is called Chaturanga Dandasana. It's what is like called? Chaturanga Dandasana. Chaturanga Dandasana. So it's like a push up. Okay. So what we are going to do is learn how to do it. So we are going to start from lap and going down. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so Okay. So, yes, we start at all four and then remember alignment. Yes. And come up to plank. Popo down. I think you have to step forward a little bit. And then popo down. Remember this? Come up. Look forward. In the exhale, half push up. Yes. Inhale, come up. Plank. Pop down. Yes. Exhale, push up. Inhale, come up. Plank. Pop down. Look forward. Exhale. 
last one. Inhale, come up. Exhale, Chaturanga. And then inhale, yes. You feel if you are fine with your ankles, relax your shoulder, the, your shoulders and your neck. Yes. And come down to that place. And we finish with that. So what is the next part? Okay, so now we are going to integrate and we are going to do the first sun salutation. Okay. So we are going to step in front of the mat. You can either put your heels together or you just keep it like this, it doesn't matter. In this case, you relax and from here we are going to do the nine moves that we talked about. Okay, what is it called again? Sun salutations. Okay, so we pray to the sun. Yes, Surya Namaskara. But what if I pray to Jesus? It's fine for you. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so in the inhale, we are going to open the chest, shoulders back, and hands all the way up. Look up, palms together. In the exhale, we fall forward. Go all the way down if you can. Touch the floor, if not, it's fine. Just here, here. In the inhale, we are going to look to the horizon. Spine is neutral, deep, perfect in this one. In the exhale, you hands on the floor and you step back at your mat. In the inhale, our facing dog that we just learned. Look up. Exhale. Go down. If you can see that I did really quick the chakra. 
Chaturanga Dasana. Did you see it or not? The Chatur what? Chaturanga Dasana the little push up, hand push up. Yeah. Okay, so here we stay here for five breaths. Mm -hmm. Put the chin to the chest, tuck the back in. And we breathe here. The focus point is the belly. So we really keep looking to the belly. Two. Okay. Okay. So. Inhale, hands all the way up. Exhale. Inhale, come up. All the way down. Inhale, look up. Perfect. Exhale, hands on the floor. Step back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Half push up. Inhale. Our facing dog, roll your fingers. No, it's the other way around. No. No. Yeah. Inhale to our facing dog. Up. Chest up. Okay, we stop. <laughs> Inhale, hands all the way up. Palms together. Exhale, go down. Inhale, look forward, exhale, hands on the floor, Chaturanga Dandasana, push-up position. And then, our facing dog. One more time. Inhale, hands up, exhale, inhale, exhale. Hands on the floor, inhale, look forward, exhale, hands on the floor again. Hat pushing, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to our facing dog. Perfect. Exhale to our facing dog. And you breathe there for five. Chin to the chest. Tuck the belly in. And breathe there. Step forward. Look forward. Exhale. Yes, fine. Okay. <laughs> so, now we've done everything. How many times per week should I do it? Minimum three times. Minimum? Minimum three times. Per okay, week. before workout or after workout? Um, it depends what you're doing, but I would say after. After, okay, yes, minimum three times. I don't know what you do for warming up before you go train. I do the reps without my weight. Alright, yes, fine. <laughs> then you, you do it after. Okay, after. okay, three times. Okay. Three times. How many times the series? Uh, seven times. Seven times? It takes like two hours. <laughs> no, 10 to 15 minutes if you are really, really slow. Okay, perfect. Yeah? Perfect. So, um. Some salutations, seven times, three times per week. Okay. And where can we find you? What's your Instagram again? Uh, it's the same, Angie Pizer. Okay, That's I put it up here. And your blog? Your website? Dot com or dot com. Okay, I'm gonna put it here and in the description box. If you have any questions, just comment below or message her or me. Thank you. Yeah.